Welcome back to Storage Chasers. If this is your first time visiting, we are storage unit buyers and resellers. So we buy storage units that have been uh, vacated or somebody didn't pay for them. And then we go in through uh, online auctions, purchase them, sort through them, and sell everything we can. <laughs> so if that is uh, your type of thing, then you have come to the right place. So stay tuned so you can follow the adventure. All right, today's adventure is just beginning for us. Uh, we don't need to get the trailer, which is good because it's still full of uh, all of our flea market sales stuff. So we have to empty that out for some other reasons. But we are only going to be taking the truck for this unit that we picked up. Uh, it's about an hour drive away from us. And it's uh, just got a few things in there so we can take it and it'll all fit in the bed of the truck. Uh, we just won it today, so we're going to go and run up and pick it up before they come back and try and reclaim it. And uh, we, will so, we will see you as soon as we get there. All right, we have made it to our location. And uh, let's see, this one here, we won this one on storagetreasures.com. This is at a life storage facility. And we paid just a whopping 70 bucks for this one. Out the door after all applicable fees, 70 bucks. It's not a huge unit, but uh, we've been at this facility a few times before, so this is what we got. We got uh, what looks like a bed frame and uh, some mystery boxes. That's all we're, we're looking at. So you got that there for your picture, and here be your live. So bed frame and some boxes. It's going to be that simple. We're going to get it, and then we're going to load this up, and we'll see you when it's empty. Okay, unit 6111 emptied out. Wall to wall to wall to door. Better than when we got here. Cleaned out, ready to be re rented. And we got everything in the. This is uh, what we got. We got the bed frame parts in the back seat because it's uh, for like a full size bed, so it fit in there nice so it won't blow out. And that's going to do it for us. We will see you when we get back to our home base operations. Welcome back to our home base of operations. We have everything out of the truck. And uh, we're going to sort through it right now. And then put it away in the trailer. Because it's looking like it may rain on us. <laughs> so we got to do what we got to do here. Alright. Um, first thing is the little blue bed. Which is probably the name of this uh, video. It's a little blue bed unit. It's a little uh, like velvety kind of blue bed. It looks like a full size or a double. Either a full or a double. They're kind of similar. Uh, doubles are closer to a queen size. Uh, we'll measure it out once we get it all put together. It seems like all the parts are here for the most part. Uh, I think I'm missing some feet maybe on here. Some feet that may look like these. But maybe they're in one of the boxes. We'll check. Uh, looks like most of the screws are in in the places of the where they go. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to put this together and it'll be complete. It's got slats. All it needs is a mattress and we're ready to go. When we were looking at the pictures originally for the unit, I thought it was a queen size. Which does sell for us as well, but full, full size beds are harder to come by where we're at. So this may actually be just as good or as fast of a sell. If we price it right so that we can get rid of it and i may be able to sell just this frame if it's all complete for enough to double uh what we paid for the unit and pay for the gas that it took us to get down there so which is roughly say about 150 to or, or to 200 dollars somewhere in that range so that's pretty decent uh the next things we got was we just got uh, these four boxes and then uh, a tote that we filled up with uh, some of the loose stuff. So we're gonna jump right in here and uh, we'll go through this box first. And see what we got. All right, we got a Presto, a Presto, looks like an electric -y. yeah. It's a foldable electrical, huh. It's an electric griddle, I guess. And a lot of kitcheny stuff. Ooh, a lot of kitchen stuff. Right, this is kind of cool. 
There's some hang some utensils on there. Like a well, that's like brand new. I don't think it's ever nope. I see some I see some cheesy shrapnel on there, so it has been used at least once. Um got some T valve that's been used. Oop, got some plastic little shot glasses. I see several of those down in the box here. They look like they may go with uh, with whatever this is. So yeah, it looks like you pour something in there and then you can open these up and it fills up the individual little little glasses down below it. In theory, right? That's what it looks like. Huh. See another one and another one and anyway. All right, uh, paper towel dispensary thingy and a heavier duty paper towel dispensary thing. There's a glass cutting board. Those are always good for us. Cookie sheet, or maybe it's a grease catcher for the for the griddly thingy. A round tray. What do we got here? We got. Looks like a the old crock pot, Hamilton Beach. Doesn't have any cracks on it. Has the lid. Voila. Those do sell good for us at the flea market. We got a roaster pan lid and a strainer. Got no roaster pan, so it's probably in one of the other boxes. Chef tested. It's a decent looking little pot. Not a tea fowl. It's a uh, Muffin pan, a muffin pan, and a bread pan, and a bread pan. So somebody bought the whole set. Yep. A couple of those. Pie pans. There's the other one of my cups. So now I can have my whole shot glass thing. There's one of them strainer, pop-open strainers. These are really cool to use for uh, in kitchens and stuff. I'm supposed to be able to pull this and make it all open. But yeah, I'll uh, tinker with that later. But yeah. That's it, and that is it for this one. So, did we get some unusual stuff? Uh, yeah, we got some unusual stuff. I'm gonna clean off some of the table here really quick so I can have some space to uh, open up another one. Uh, let's open up the tote. It looks like everything else is taped up. And we'll be down here, we have another big pan something a tool some kind of tools I don't know um, uh, cutlery New England I guess knives go in there or something I, I don't know um, we'll figure it out <laughs> all right we've got uh, we've got one of those whatever that is we've got it Put that over there. What's in here? Well, this is like brand new in the box. Looks like uh, can opener in Spanish. Uh, electric can opener with knife sharpener. We will. I want to show you. Brand new sealed in the box. Wow, that's pretty good. We like new stuff. Got new in the box too. Uh, quarter round slow cooker with removable ceramics or a little a little crock pot uh-huh looks like it was supposed to have been yeah brand new ish in the box yeah the plugs never been used wow all right we, we do like uh, new in the box stuff don't we uh, who doesn't <laughs> Although it did have, they have an eight dollar price sticker on it. Family dollar, so yeah, if you can get it for eight dollars a family dollar. We probably can't sell it for much. Uh, Libby's cool, cool cocktails. Eat mixologist. All right, we got cool cocktail stuff. All right, I don't know what the half of this stuff does, but. We've uh, 
There's a mixing spoon. There's a three-piece cocktail shaker in there. Um, yeah, I don't know what all I'm all supposed to have in there, but we got stuff, and there's a little glass, and then this glass, and there's a little glass. So that little glass is in there, and that thing's in there, and that cup's in there, the stick's in there, this thing's in there, which I think both metal things are together, with the uh, big mixing spoon. So yeah, I'm going to say it's all in there. New-ish in the box. Uh, again, don't know if this is something we can sell online, but... Uh, the flea market likes those kind of things too. All right, we've got uh, beverage dispenser. I guess you twist it to turn it on or open it or something. I don't know. I give up. Yeah, okay, you twist it to let it open. Okay, it looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. But it's okay, we have another one. So we got two beverage dispensary thingies, and we've got a $25 Black & Decker 12 cup coffee maker, brand new in the box. Sealed in the box yet. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Who does not like that? Well, I mean, I do. Who, who doesn't? I don't know. You gotta be crazy. So yeah, we're just gonna put all these back in here for right now. And eventually back in the trailer. All right, I need my knife to go through. So we can open them up. Actually, I'll open them. I'm gonna cut them all open so you can see them. All being cut-ish open. I can just zip through these, hopefully, right? That's the plan. All right, so they're all open. Well, they're all untaped. <laughs> they're not open. Oh, all right. Ooh, Ooh more kitchen stuff. Is it Pyrex? It is Pyrex. Pyrex is a good brand for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we got a copper square pin. And here's another one of them. Is it T-Fowl? Uh, Trumonino something? I don't know. Another one chef tested. That's, uh, these aren't super spectacular here at all. Uh, looks like Wolfgang Pucks. That would be kind of good. Okay, here's a metal thing, metal colander. It's a walk. It's a walk in the park. There we go. Another one chef tested. That one's in a little better shape. And then here's the baby teeth out one. Loose handle. Uh, it can be tightened, but it's too thrashed. Yeah, here's a Got some numbers on it. Little uh, meatloaf pan, maybe. All right, we got a bunch of lids and lids. There are a whole bunch of these. Maybe these pots here. More lids. 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 Ooh, that's heavy. Um, yeah, I think this is a. Uh, I think that says a uh, Wolfgang puck on the bottom of this. So no, no to that one. That does not say Wolfgang Puck. This, oh, this is heavy, so this is Wolfgang Puck. So this goes there. Yay! Uh, where's the Wolfie? Wolfie, Wolfie. Keep out. Nothing else but Wolfgang Puck in there. So yeah, we've got all those. So we got a couple of Wolfgang Puck uh, pots here and pans, pot and pan, saucepan thing. Wow, really, really are heavy, so it's good quality, I guess. Need to find the lid for this one. Hopefully in uh, 
one of the last two boxes we got here. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this one. Um, ooh, sounds like glassware. Yeah. All right, we've got a, it's a decorative pillowcase. Put that with the bed. And yes, glassware. Oof. Let's see if it's got a name on it. Really thick. Don't know what the name is on that. Okay, this has some etching on it. Some etching on the bottom. See if I can read what it says. <sighs> I cannot. Oh, maybe it's this way. Oh, the crown. The crown. Generosity. Worthy. Worthy of the crown. Yeah, generosity worthy of the crown. That's what it says. And then it's got like a, I don't know if you can see through it. It's got a crown on a little pillow etched into the glass that's into the bottom there. So maybe that means it's worth something. I see another one of those here. So I got two of those. And then we've got this is this is plastic. That's plastic. All right, here's some more coffee mugs. Stoneware. Stoneware. Oop, that's glass. Let's get those out of the way here. Those are glass. Plastic, glass, uh, happy birthday, something, something, glass cup. And a couple more of these blue ceramic-y ones. Let's get all those out the way. And get these glass ones. Oh, we got a lot of glassware. Glassware does not sell at the flea market very easily, so it's got to be really good stuff. All right, here's a, looks like a sheet set. And another layer, another layer. Here's some uh, shot glasses. It's got something on that one, and a piece of tape on this one. All right, here's a. It's got some etching on this little cup, and there's another one of those. So I got two of these at least. Two more shot glasses. Something Mexico. And uh, party Puerto Rico, so you know, somebody may want those. We've got uh, Dover and York coffee cup, black one. Here's a Thompson, black one. Another Thompson. Thompsons are, are like a burgundy on the inside and black on the outside. So I've got four of them over there. Yep, there's still four. We got some blankie here. What does the blankie say? Alpha Psi Fraternity. Okay, some fraternity blanket. Ooh. So some fraternity closed down. They put all their alcohol cups and glasses in here. <laughs> yeah, I am seeing glassware, glassware. And then I go down farther. And I'm seeing some towels, and I see more glassware, more shot glasses. Here's some stemware. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Somebody got married in 2015. And below that is nothing. It's a couple of ball jars in there. I'm really surprised I did not break any of this. A couple more shot glasses there. This is a, a lid, probably for the... Uh, yeah, so there's that cup, and this is probably the lid for her, looks like it, and there's more glasses, there's a plastic drinkable cup, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, so yeah, and that, and a lot of glassware. And these do have the same etchings on them that them little coffee mug type ones had on them. So I don't know what we're going to do with those. Probably 
take them to the flea market and try and sell them cheap. All right, last box. Of course, there's all the plasticky stuff. We had metal, we had the glass, now we got plasticware. And yeah, if I can just throw that away, I have no idea. So here's a smart line, maybe some kind of hot pot. I don't know, egg cooker? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's all part of that. Cups, here's some plastic lids. Um, some red plastic plates. And some plastic bowls. And just some nice stick serving trays here. Stolen from the finest of restaurants, probably. Some Tupperware like type of pieces here. Rubbermaids. That's not bad. Oh, here's the, the pot that we saw the lid for earlier. So that's going to be good. And uh, there's a glass in here. We'll see if the lid's in there for that one, too. What else we got? Some lids for some big bowls. I didn't see big bowls anywhere, so yeah just uh just these rubber made lunch box types of ones yep there's those there's those lunch box things lids plastic faces and lids and lids and another plate and another plate so i'm upping my plate game there the chef tested pot another one of those another striped bowl so yeah a lot of a lot of reusable make your own lunches at home kind of serving things and glassware and pots and pans and pots and pans and uh and the bed with uh, some weird bedding and a lot a lot of glassware Ooh, that's gonna be weird but yeah that is gonna do it for this one here i am going to sort through the pots and pans See which ones are, are good enough to be uh, to be able to be resold. Uh, make sure they have lids for them. If they don't have lids, then they probably won't be sold uh, either. Sort through some of these this glassware. That's going to be really difficult to determine uh, which things are worth saving. <laughs> uh, maybe the little dish set. Uh, somebody will buy that for like five bucks or something at the flea market. Crock pot. We had to take it out, test it. We got all this new stuff over here and uh yeah we're doing uh we're doing all right so i'm thinking for a little uh, 70 dollar investment we uh, definitely are going to make our money back so that's a that's a plus so hopefully you like the video please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff <laughs> and as always we will talk to you later